very good evening to all today i am going to explain this pointer used in c++ so first i explain you what do you mean by this pointer obviously this is a keyword or is a pointer to object type variable which used to represent the current class obviously it is used to access the data member or member function which can be used like simple name and it can be used implicit in any member function or constructor so now through application learning by doing we try to understand what is the use of this pointer so i will tell you two importance the first one the differentiate between the local variable and instance variable in constructor or member function and second one if we want to return the object in any member function so how it can helpful in the programming so now uh, let's we develop simple applications so we try to understand what is the use of this pointer now let's we start the turbo c plus plus editor where we write the code we add to header file most of the program use is header file and now define a class like the class in which we declare data member i and declare constructor in public access file so now default constructor and then parameter type constructor so this parameter type constructor i will tell you the difference between the local variable and instance variable because we want to assign this value of the local variable into the instance variable so how we can assign so please you try to understand this i is a instance variable and this i is a local variable so we want to assign the value if we write in such a way it will not assign that will create a problem so i will show you what problem we face and then we create so method so we can print the value of a and we perform operator overloading so now uh, through we return the object so now we write here the operator and here we are using pre increment operator so what is the general method now obviously we want to return the object so we create a temporary object like e and now e dot a e dot i assigned to print commands plus plus i and return e object so now most of the program if we want to return the object we use such kind of the code so now there is no use of this in this program okay and now we define main function we create object so not two object 
A and B. A is a default constructor uh, call for this A object and uh, parametric constructor call for this B object. Okay, so now here we print value of B object. So V dot show. So obviously it print ten. Okay, and now this is the operator overloading. So we perform pre-increment operator on this B object. A assigned to pre-increment of B. Okay. And then a dot so so obviously uh, this is the complete code but here we are not using any this keyword okay so we compile this program first we check is there any compilation error so now integer i and now this is the Opening curly braces we have to use here and then again compile one other undefined symbol a. So now don't use a i actually. So I think there's no compilation. If we run this program, you can see output 0, 01. So that means key now the value of b object is 10 here, but it print 0, 01. Why? Because if we use parametric constructor that 10 value is not assigned to this instance variable i if we trace this program you understand here the value of b dot so would be 10 but it print 0 you can see here it will not print 10 why because this i value is not assigned to this i variable instance variable so we can solve that problem by using this keyword so this is pointed to object i variable so we have to write here so through this statement you can assign the value of local variable to the instance variable clear so now again we compile the program and we run this program so i hope you understand 10 11 even you can write here this So now this is the way to access the value of i. So again, it gives similar output. There is no difference. So this is a keyword which used to access the data member in the same class or current class. And now, how it return the object without this temporary object e? So now we want to use this operator this keyword so now here we don't use this line we don't use this line and it's very simple increment of i and right here this is a pointer to object i variable so pointer this i hope you understand it's very simple line of code we are using here so increment of i it basically increase and it returns this to object a so whatever increment you are doing here, it will assign to A object. So again, if we compile this program and we run this program, you can see the output 10, 11. So there is no use of create a temporary object in this operator function. I repeat here, we are simply increment of I and return pointer this. So now, it basically increment of i does also effect on this and that also return to a object so obviously a dot so print 11 and obviously it is a print increment operator and if you write b dot so so again it will print 11 so in both cases it print 10 11 11 i hope you understand this is the use of this keyword to differentiate between the local variable and instance variable and to it also used to return the object so i hope you understand this program thank you very much